Okay, welcome to part 12 of the Grumman 2 teardrop series. We just completed the frame. Now I'm going to add some axles and wheels and a front coupler here. I've built some already. They take a long time to build, but it's the same process. But anyway, I've got these stored on the Google Warehouse 3D. Um, anybody's welcome to use them. Uh, but if you type in trailer torsion axle, it should be one of the first ones, and it is the first one. You click on that right there, and it will download it. Then you can drag it over and, and place it on the model. Uh, there's lots of components in there that you can search for and use in your model. If we got this open before I close this layers, you'll notice that uh, it added layers, coupler, axle, and wheels. And so they're already there. I've got them labeled like that. Uh, anyway, uh, you can see it's... It groups everything together, so we want to explode that group. Now you see the individual groups and components. Uh, I do want to go ahead and add, put these back in a group so that everything on here moves as one assembly. So when we position it, now the, we'll go ahead and position the coupler and the axles where they belong. Now I know this coupler, the back side of the coupler, is 4 and 9 sixteenths of an inch uh, from the front there to this back part. And then down under here, the center of the wheel from the back of the cross member here is 39 inches. Well, I can't just place the center of the wheel there. I have to place it on one of these marks here. Now this edge mark right here is back um, four and three-eighths inches from this mark here. So we'll come back four and three-eighths inches, and that's where we'll go ahead and position that right there. And since we're right here in this area, we'll go ahead and move it. Um, I'll click on that, and then we'll drag it down, and we'll place it right there. And we'll go up here, and actually I clicked on the bottom corner, as you can see. So it, it needs to slide down, so we'll move it down. And then right there it is. It's in place. Uh, click up here. And then coupler. Let's go ahead and do the same thing there. Click on the coupler. The move tool. And we're moving this inside corner now. So you click on it, drag it down, get it on the frame there. Zoom in. Actually, we're going to have to raise it up. And then so it's a little bit of a process sometimes getting these positioned, but if you get them on an edge like that, then, then we'll just slide it back until we get to our our mark there. Uh, well, it's not wanting to flow very well. Let's slide it forward and, and put it on that guide mark, and then we'll slide it over. And it's tricky sometimes to move these, but just uh, have a little patience and work at it. Right there we go. Now it's positioned. Um, so we'll zoom out. And there we go. Uh, we got that. Now uh, we'll go ahead and delete the guides. And then I will put all this under one big group. Well, and then we'll go up here, edit make group. Now it's one group. There's still individual groups and components, but one big group. And then we'll go ahead and name that group. We'll put that group on the frames. Now see if you go down to layers and you click on axle, the axle will go away. But if you click on frames, it'll all go away. So anyway, we've got that. We've got the floor. And what we'll do is go ahead and position the axle on the floor. Um, Again, I know that this axle, or excuse me, the frame, is coming from the bottom of the floor forward. It's 1 and 5 eighths inches. And so there you go. And then, so we'll move that frame right to that mark. Click on the corner. And there you go. That's there. Zoom back out, and we'll go ahead and stop it here, and we'll put it all together and start playing with it some in the next video.